everyone. Welcome to the post-show video wrap-up of the Shrimp Tank podcast. I'm your host, Rich Jensen, along with my co-host, David Sims, and our special guest this week, Mark Hill of Vortalon. We just completed a really fun show, great show, a lot of really good information. We were kind of lulled to sleep by that uh, British accent. <laughs> it's like listening I was to- actually awakened by it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like listening to Mary Goldberg, the other Swami voice we've had on the, the Shrimp Tank. But each week on the post-show wrap-up, we like to bring you the highlights of our conversation with our guests. Um, Mark comes with a very unique background um, from Europe, now a U.S. citizen, done a lot of things at the very high level, and also has some really keen insights on the mergers and acquisitions space and even the sales space, because he shared with something after the yeah. podcast that I'd really like to touch on during the video. Yeah, we're going to have to have him on back on. Definitely, you know? definitely. Yeah, so pick his brain. But, uh, you know, Mark, you had a you have a quote on your bio at the Vortalon website, and um, it's from Churchill. And do you remember what the quote is? Because I don't have it memorized. <laughs> it, it is, um, yes, it's, you could have you could have picked any number of quotes um, that that he's famous for. But in the business context, it's about being perfect has required you to change and change and change. And you know that's the essence of really anything we do. It's not just changing; it's incrementally changing, given the right feedback, mm. um, right. and being able to improve what you do on a daily basis. Yeah. And you, you implement that in your consultancy. We do. Yeah. yeah, we very much do. Yeah. Then the thing we got to after the podcast, so you, you only get it if you're watching the video. You won't hear it on the podcast. <laughs> well, but we might bring it up on the next show. There you too. go. You got to watch the next time that Mark yeah. comes on. But um, you talked about the difference between a high-value sale and I won't say transaction because a low-value sale or a low-value engagement is basically a transaction. Share with our viewers a little bit about what you're getting at there and how important that is? Well, at the heart of the question is persuasive behaviors. And when you think through what is persuasive in a low value sale, that is defined as, and we often think of it as transactional, but the definition is um, the implication to me as a decision maker, making a bad decision is inconsequential. Therefore, the decision is low value. High value is in making a decision that has very real consequences to the implementation, that would be high value. Not necessarily associated with the cost of a product or a service. Mm. And really the heart of, of, of that issue is a, you know, using the right behaviors that bring about a successful outcome in both low value and high value sales those behaviors are very, very different. Right. And I think possibly on our next time we have Mark on, we ought to go into that in the podcast because he talked about some very yeah. behaviors about giving information, seeking information and listening and yeah. just anything. That it's good whether you're a CEO of a startup or a Fortune 500 company. I mean, Yeah, it's both just of our brands are sitting there computing, man, how does this apply for exactly, us with exactly. what we've got going on? And it's like, yeah. okay, more free advice. You know, just what we do. We just get these guys on, we get the free advice. You that's, know? that's the hidden motivation in the shrimp tank. David and I get free advice from some of the best minds <laughs> yeah, in Arkansas. Yeah. Free advice and hopefully uh, opportunities to invest, <laughs> to invest in really good you deals, go. you know. <laughs> Sometimes some inside information we can get without anybody I, knowing it. I understand. That's I right. So, the, uh, hey, wait a minute. The Arkansas Securities Department just probably heard that and is coming after us. Yeah, now. no. No, that was that, that. That was just a joking. I was joking. Was joking. Hey, uh, so the third the third thing we want to talk about is at the end uh, we were talking about the show sponsor BRS Consulting and their concept of rehirement. And Rich asked you a follow up question about you know where are you at and what do you see doing. And he said, Hey, well, I'm really kind of already doing uh, my rehirement plan, which is kind of giving back. So talk, share with our viewers what you you shared there on the uh, podcast. Yeah, and I would also say to any of the listeners that, that have a heap of experience that they're not using in industry but can create value is a great time to give back. Yeah, I'm very much involved with the startup junkie, the conductor, the venture center, and contributing to the startup ecosystem. Mm-hmm. And a lot of our, our viewers, listeners may not know the tremendous resources that are actually available to you as an entrepreneur starting a business, trying to grow a business. There's so many people like Mark that are willing to give back, um, look look these things up online, find out about them, um, or you can call yeah, Mark. Get a hold so of our Mark, guests, if yeah. people want to know okay. more, and I forgot to mention, I think that Mark is with Fortalon, which is a, in itself kind of a startup, although they bring tremendous years of experience to yeah, it. Yeah, and the mergers and acquisitions space, exactly, they really are exactly. very unique in that so space. So Mark, 
right before you tell us how to get a hold of you or Vortalon, tell us what Vortalon does real quick, because I just think it's fascinating. Well, we're a, uh, you know, if you ask me who our customer is, it's somebody who's interested in their company, uh, not just surviving post two, three years of the acquisition, but thriving. Mm -hmm. And that's what we focus on. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And how can they get a hold of you or Vortalon? It is M Hill H I L L at Vortalon V O R T Y L O N dot com. Great. Yeah, and if you ever wonder why the British and Australians say aluminium when they talk about <laughs> aluminum, you got to listen to the podcast. <laughs> Hey, Pizza. folks, uh, remember, you can always catch the Pizza. entire podcast at arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com. Um, all of our other post-show wrap-up videos are available on our YouTube channel if you haven't been there yet and you're just watching this video on our website. Until next week, stay safe. And remember, in the business world, to become a shark, we all start out as shrimp. <laughs>